welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a very exciting DIY video. If you love DIYs, let me know in the comments. Today it's gonna be all about Kate Spade. Okay, so I love Kate Spade decor and fashion too. So I wanted to add some more cute little items to my home. So I was like, what well, better way to do that than to just DIY it? <laughs> like, <laughs> save myself that money and DIY it. Now, I will, I'm will. i gonna share with you everything that I got and things I got it from. A lot of some of the stuff I already had, like around the house. But yeah, I got a few items that I'm gonna share with you guys and I'm gonna give you a few options. So I hope you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Now, if you're new here, my name is Angel and I share everything lifestyle. So I know today's a DIY day, but I also share home decor and fashion and beauty. So if any of that interests you, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and click that bell so that you get notified each time I upload a video. Also, follow me on all my social media platforms if you want to see more of my daily life, including my Facebook group. All right, so let's get started. So for this project, I'm gonna take this little black bowl slash jar that I got from Ikea and this gold leaf paint that I bought on Amazon and a Q-tip. We're gonna try to put some gold dots on here. So I will link everything that I can, like especially things that I get from Amazon or the stores um, in the comments. So be sure to check that out for all the info. And that's it. This was so easy, guys, so easy, but it's so cute. I put a little succulent plant in it and it is totally adorable, like easy and cute. It did not take a lot of effort or a lot of money. So for this next project, I'm gonna take this white box I picked up from Michaels. I actually had this item left over from last Christmas. And I'm gonna take some black tape and, and I'm gonna take stripes on this box. I didn't feel like tape measuring things out, doing all that. So what I did, I just used a little piece of tape as my guide <laughs> and went around corner to corner. And for me, it was just quicker than, you know, but do whatever you feel, whatever your preference is. But yeah, this was so simple. For the top, I'm gonna use this gold contact paper that I had, of course, left over from my, one of my last DIY videos, if you guys remember. Um, I love this contact paper. It is so shiny, it is so gold, like, it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to literally just cover the top in contact paper. And you kind of have to just play with the corners and fold them on, but it's not hard. And that's it, and it came out so totally cute. And I just put the top on the box, and I just love the box. I love it, it's so adorable. 
So I'm gonna take another white box. This one, I, again, I already had left over from Christmas last year, but um, you can also still find them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any of those stores. And these gold stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby, they're totally adorable. Like, cause you know, Kate Spade is known for gold and stripes and circles and pinks and you know so this one I'm actually going to put these girl stickers on the box to give it kind of like a bubble effect um so you have two options for boxes you have the stripes or you have the circles and like they're both totally easy the circles I think are a little bit more easy because you just stick the stickers on the box so if you guys have not tried a DIY project I would highly suggest that you just give it a try you just never know what you like and what you come up with And here are the end results. Okay, for this project, I'm gonna use a frame that I picked up from Dollar Tree and these feathers with gold tips that I found at Hobby Lobby. They're so cute. When I saw them, I was like, oh, I'm putting these in a project. So I'm gonna put these in a frame and hot glue this on just a white sheet of paper to give it that um, white background. And it's gonna be the one of the most simplest, simplest DIY projects ever. It's just a feather in a frame. But it's so cute. Like, this is so cute. I love it. I I mean, because I do this all the time. Like I have art pieces around my home like this. So I just found it to be a simple project, but totally cute. And this next project, I'm gonna use a magazine holder that I found. I had these actually, again, at the house. I picked these up from Ikea like a long time ago and I was tired of just plain white boxes so I'm like let's Kate Spade these up okay so I'm gonna take these same gold stickers and put it all over this box to give it that same effect that the storage box has so simple and easy I'm gonna do another magazine rack, but I'm gonna use this gold, oh, so pretty. It's a pretty gold tape that I found at Walmart, I believe. And I'm gonna wrap this in stripes. And again, like I did the box, I don't, I didn't really feel like measuring it out. You can always just measure it for accuracy. I just didn't feel like it. So I just used a piece of tape as my guide <laughs> and I just go around the edges. So if you can see, I'm leaving a little bit along the ends because I'm gonna come back at the end and fold them around. So um, it has the wrapping effect. So yeah, pretty easy. And then for the ends, I cut some off and then others I blend in and the ones at the top I'm going to wrap around on the inside of the box. And here's the finished look. I really think it's just the easy way to style up these plain old boxes.
Okay, so for this project, I'm gonna use this glass jar that I found at Hobby Lobby, but you can also find them at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna use the gold stickers again that I got from Hobby Lobby. And we're just literally going to add some circles to this jar. Simple and easy. And then I just tucked in a little pink flower in here. And yeah, totally cute. And here are the final results. I just love how they came out. They're so adorable. If y'all try any of my projects, let me know in the comments. Tag me on Instagram, let me see it. Like, I love to know this stuff. And I love to talk to you guys as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And if you haven't checked out any of my other DIY videos, I have a whole ton of DIY videos. I will leave them here, plus a playlist with nothing but DIYs. All right guys, I'll see you in those videos.